In response to rising sea levels and greater risks of flooding, the UK is starting a big project that will change how it makes energy and deals with flooding completely. Rising sea levels are expected to flood parts of the UK by 2050. This scary prediction has led local governments to take big steps to protect the area. The world's biggest tidal power project is here. It's a work of engineering that will help solve both energy and environmental problems. The planned tidal power project on the River Mersey would not only help prevent flooding in the future, but it would also use the tide's power to make clean energy. In this video, we will talk about why the project needs to be done right away, the specifics of the tidal power plan, whether it is possible, and what benefits it might have for the area. The need for the project. As an island country with a long coastline, the UK is especially exposed to the effects of climate change and rising sea levels. As temperatures rise around the world, the melting of the polar ice caps and the growth of seawater due to heat are both making the water levels rise. Research from the last few years says that places in the UK like Sefton, Wirral and Warrington could be underwater by 2050. The situation is made worse by the varied tide patterns in the area, which can hit 10 meters high. Liverpool and the places around it are especially at risk. If the flooding that is expected happens, the city's historic docklands, golf courses, and even future sports stadiums might not be useful anymore. The Mersey River, which runs through Liverpool, is very important to this story. People know it for the big changes in the tides and the regular flooding. To protect against these dangers, the city of Liverpool has brought back a plan from 100 years ago, a huge tidal barrier across the River Mersey. A look at the River Mersey Tidal Power Project. It aims to solve two important problems at the same time, floods and making energy. According to the idea, a huge barrage would be built across the river. This would protect against flooding and provide clean energy. The goal of this project is to use the natural rise and fall of the tides to make electricity, which could power up to a million houses. Tidal power has been used for hundreds of years, so the idea isn't completely new. But modern technology has come a long way, making it possible for bigger and more efficient uses. K Water, South Korea's state water company, runs the world's biggest tidal range power scheme at Sihua Lake. The Liverpool city region has teamed up with K Water. The goal is to make the River Mersey plan the biggest of its kind in the world. How the tidal barrage works. The tidal barrier that is being planned will cross the River Mersey like a dam. Turbines that use the motion of the moving water to make power will be built into it. During high tides, the barrage will hold water in a reservoir. When the tide goes out, the water will run through turbines to make electricity. This process will happen again and again with each tide, making it a reliable source of power. The barrage's length, cost and effect on area ecosystems are some of the most important things to think about. This narrow channel at the river's mouth, called the Narrows, is helpful because it cuts down on the length and cost of the barrage. The barrage will also act as a seawall, keeping land inside from drowning during high tides. It is thought that the River Mersey Tidal Power Project will cost around three billion. It will be hard to get these funds because of the current economy and the government's competing spending goals. Liverpool has been actively lobbying the central government for financial support, pointing out that the project would protect against flooding and generate clean energy at the same time. It's also important for the private sector to spend. However, tidal power projects often have trouble getting private funds because they have high startup costs and take a long time to pay for themselves. To get around these problems, Liverpool is using its relationship with K-Water 
and looking for other ways to get money, such as possible investments in the blue economy sector, which is all about using ocean resources in a way that doesn't harm the environment. Design and Technology Several designs for the tidal barrier have been looked at, but one has not yet been chosen as the final one. The type of turbines used and the general structure of the barrage are two of the most important technological factors. Tidal power systems are more efficient now that technology has improved them, and researchers are still working to improve their performance and lower their prices. The Tidal Lagoon is another option that is being thought about. It's a similar idea, but with some clear differences. Tidal lagoons use retaining walls that were built by people to collect water from the tides and turn it into energy. Tidal power pros and cons. Tidal power is better than other types of energy in a number of ways. Rising and falling tides are a natural source of clean energy that can be used over and over again. While wind and solar power aren't always available and can't be predicted, tidal power is very stable because tides are always the same. The tidal barrage will do a lot of good for the environment in addition to making energy. By keeping the water out, it will protect important land and buildings from flooding. The barrage will also help cut down on greenhouse gas pollution. There are clear benefits to tidal power over wind and sun energy. Because water is denser than air, tidal turbines can make more electricity than wind turbines. Also, tidal power is easier to predict than wind and sunlight power. It is possible to accurately predict how the tides will move. Building and maintaining tidal power systems can be hard because they cost a lot to set up and are technically complicated. Pros and cons. The River Mersey Tidal Power Project is a big step towards solving two problems at once, floods and making energy. If it works, it could lead to other projects like it around the world and help the UK reach its goals for green energy and climate resilience. But the project has some problems, like getting the money it needs, choosing the end design, and dealing with any environmental effects that might happen. Private investors and ongoing help from the central government will be very important in getting past these problems. A big part of the future of tidal power is the blue economy, which is all about using water resources in a way that doesn't harm them. Marine resources are becoming more and more valuable as fields like aquaculture, mineral mining, and oceanographic study grow. The River Mersey project fits with the ideas of the blue economy and is good for both the economy and the nature. The River Mersey Tidal Power Project is a big, ambitious plan to help the UK deal with two very important problems, the risk of flooding and the need for energy. This project could provide a reliable and long-lasting source of electricity by using the power of the tides. It could also protect vulnerable places from rising sea levels. Liverpool and its partners are working hard to get the project funded and finished. If this tidal power plan works out, it could lead to more progress in renewable energy in the future. The project's ability to protect valuable land and produce up to 1.5 terawatt hours of energy each year shows how important it is to keep investing and coming up with new ideas in this area. The River Mersey Tidal Power Project isn't just about technology and engineering. It's also about keeping communities safe and making sure the future will be bright. As time goes on, the things we've learned from this big project will be very helpful in creating the next generation of renewable energy solutions. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching 